Oh, welcome to my channel and uh, let's talk about my November coloring plans. Well, when I think about planning and coloring, I start to laugh, because usually in the end of the month I manage to finish probably 30% from my list of planet pictures. But still, I consider such planning helpful, because at least I keep these books closer to my working space, and even if I don't color a picture which I selected in the beginning of the month, quite often I select another page which started to be more inspiring for me, so I still slowly fill in those selected books. And November it's a difficult month to select pictures which I want to color. First, of course, I want to continue coloring fall pictures. And also, I know that December is a month where I have very limited amount of time, we all are quite busy, but in the same time I have huge amount of nicest Christmas pictures, which are not suitable for coloring in January, because they all have Christmas wreaths, Christmas trees, presents, so you have only limited time, just one month, to color them. Maybe I will move all my winter pictures without Christmas trees for January and February, and all more festive pictures I will start to color somewhere on the last week of November. So that will be a mix between fall and winter pictures in such a way. I hope that my Christmas books they won't be so abandoned. But my first task will be to finish my works in progress. Currently I have three of them. The first is in Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Fantasy Art Adventure. Here I started Halloween project. Of course now I am late for Halloween, but I don't care, because still it's a very nice autumn picture. And here I started to experiment with dramatic skies and clouds. Now it looks probably 80% of what I imagined for this page, so I still need to do some efforts and I have to think how to improve this page. I deliberately tried to use quite contrast colors, yellow-orange for the clouds and dark gray for the rest of the sky, but I can't say that now they blended quite well. I need to think how to improve those transitions between orange and gray areas. But still, it was a nice start and I absolutely want to finish this one. I love to color scarecrows, crows, and I do love girl with her adorable cat. I hope that I will manage to do something nice from this poor creature, that in the end she will be black and fluffy. So that's definitely will be a page to finish. And you know that I have uh, long-term plans to finish this book one day, so I need to color every page here. And it will be a good excuse to finish this page also. My next uh, whip is in Mythic World by Kerby Rosanis. Unfortunately, in October I almost abandoned this book and I started to color in it only on the last day of the month. Here I selected page from Thailand, maybe because I simply want to finish the spread. Here I started this Yaksha Guardian Deity from Thailand, and you can actually see that I already did the most challenging part, the main character, and I started to do the background. I simply needed a break, because I color everything here with pencils, so my hand started to be tired a little bit. I wanted to make a break for a couple of days. I know which colors I want to use for the temple and for the trees, so it's just a matter of time. And I hope that in a couple of days this one will be finished. Of course I want to start something new. I still want to do spread about Iceland, but I also want to do this interesting Greek landscape and this legend from Asian mythology, from for um, creatures. So, <laughs> very pleasant choice ahead of me, but of course I will do it only when I finish this one.
And my most problematic work in progress I have here in Fragile World. Here I started spread with lemurs. I started to do it with watercolors. Here I have just one layer of paint and I haven't decided yet how to proceed. This page it have to be in limited colors because lemurs they are white, black and gray and we have only trees so a lot of green for the leaves. Apart from those leaves which already exist here I wanted to add more leaves between them, behind them, to add more depth to the page. But I am not sure how to proceed. Do I need to proceed with watercolor paints? But I don't feel very confident. Or it would be better to start adding leaves to the background with colored pencils. But it will be more time consuming, so I don't know. I would also love to add more colors, maybe more pastel yellow, pastel pink, pastel peach somewhere to the background to make it more colorful but I also don't want to mess it up and to turn it into something not very realistic so I need to do more careful color planning and I need to make final choice which media would be better to finish the background how to color lemurs it will be quite easy but how to finish this decent background to make it interesting that's challenging well, now pictures which I definitely will color. They will be in Le Jean Nouveau because I also feel bad that this book, I love it so much, but it very often it's totally abandoned by me. You know that I have this spread which I usually promise myself to do, but I decided that maybe this time, if this spread isn't very lucky, I still can't start doing this one. I don't know why. Maybe I need to do first those beauty with autumn ravens. I looked at the title of the page and I decided, yes, that's perfect picture for November. Again, I love to color crowds. I love this composition of the page. Again, very intricate frame, but also a lovely lady. Interesting parts of the landscape. Here on the background, I think about a lot of orange, magenta colors, and maybe purple for contrast for her dress, or maybe blue. And I think that when I start from the background, it will be easy to make final choice for her dress. She definitely will be with black wings and black hair. So you can see that I did my preliminary planning and that definitely will be in my coloring list. Next, I still want to color autumn pictures in Teresa Goodrich books. I did several uh, autumn pictures in October, but I hadn't touched yet my autumn scenes. It's my oldest uh, fall book by Teresa and I feel guilty that I colored in newer books and this one I hadn't touched yet. So as my project for November I selected this one. Of course I will try to use my own colors, so that's my November choice. Again, because I love to color watering cans and I love to color pumpkins. I'm a little bit tired of uh, such landscapes. I did similar in October, but well, I did one with bad weather. Maybe here I will do sunny fall weather. And Autumn Charm, book which I received, but as in October I colored Country Charm and Kitchen Charm. For the Autumn Charm I didn't have enough time, but it's beautiful. And of course I want to start coloring here. You know that I love village markets, so of course that was my choice number one. And my second best choice is this beautiful lantern. Maybe it's... <laughs> Uh, because lanterns, they are quite important for our country now. <laughs> we all love that. <laughs> we all started to purchase candles, lanterns. And here we have such a nice ar arrangement around this uh, lantern. The only thing which I haven't decided yet, it's color for the background. 
I already did so many backgrounds with regular wooden colors, you know that Bersiana, light amber, uh, dark amber, that here I want to try something new and I think maybe like uh, green blue, maybe like jade green from Prisma color could be a very nice uh, choice for the background. And of course I am eager to start um, doing this one because I love to color pictures with strong highlights, reflections. Here we have a reflection from the candle on the surrounding elements and on the surface of the glass walls of the lantern. So it's challenging but quite instructive. I definitely will try to do this one. Another picture for fall season, which I want to do, it's by Mrs. Sutter. I hadn't started yet any of her books and of course I want to try her style. Sorry, as usual, I have lost my bookmark, my usual problem. This one, you can see that per it's perfect for fall season, a lot of various plants, leaves, trees, even flowers a little bit, so it will be very colorful. And you don't have to think about empty backgrounds, because here it's perfect. More delicate gray lines for the forest behind, and more intense and defined lines for the objects which are closer to us. I do love such things, and I think that she elf, it's, she is totally adorable. I definitely will try to color this one. Another book which I just received and where I have plenty of fall pictures and which I, of course, want to start is this Forest Girl. It's premium edition. As my choice number one, I selected this relatively simple picture uh, because here it's easy to select colors and in here I can test uh, water-based media. I want to try a little bit of watercolors or neocolor crayons to do similar kind of the background here around the leaves. So I hope that I will do this one. If not, then I have here also plenty of winter pictures. So if I don't have enough time, I will move it into December a list of to-do pictures. Next, I want to color with markers, and here I need to decide between two books. I think that I don't have, I won't have time for both of them. Of course, I wish that I managed to color everything, but I have to be realistic. So I feel guilty that I abandoned my goddesses. Here, I wanted to do Morrigan because it's easy, it has uh, a black background and it's also a little bit in this dramatic Halloween theme. But I also want to call Demeter from Greek mythology. I can imagine beautiful green colors. I think that it's in my plans since this summer and I still don't have enough time for this beauty. And Maybe I will do something much darker in this dark beauty. Again, I want to use markers and my... Ah, I think about this one. Maybe it's the easiest choice when you start from the first picture in the book. And in the same time it's beautiful. And not very complicated. You know that I love to color flowers. so I. Just have to decide about background. My choice for now is um, grey-blue. It will create dramatic atmosphere and nice contrast to the red roses. Well, let's cross fingers that I will have a lot of free time. Also, my abandoned book is this romantic country. I wanted to do this page with various uh, herbs and potions for Helen Sam, you know that <laughs> I didn't manage to do it in uh, October. And here again my biggest problem is which color to select for the walls. Sometimes um, I think that I can color it easy, but um, I already did some similar pictures and I don't want to repeat the same colors for the walls, for the shelves. 
I want to invent something new and that's when challenging time starts. All those things on the tables and hanging on the walls, it's easy to color, but choice of color for the background, that's the biggest problem. I decided that if I can't do this one, maybe I can do another one. Very detailed, but at least here I don't have such a suffering with the background colors. Here the biggest challenge is how to transform those flat objects into nice round shiny pipes. But picture is beautiful, I especially love those angels here and sun and moon decorating the upper part of the organ. Sorry guys, I don't know how to call it in English. I need to check. And the girl and her friend, the geese, again, they are as usual adorable. Well, picture is very detailed, so we need to be careful how to attract more attention to the main characters. That's the only problem which I have with this one, but I hope that I will do it. So this one or this one. Well, and as I said, the last week of the uh, month, the last week of November, I want to dedicate to Christmas charm. I don't have the latest book by Teresa, but I am pretty happy with my three winter books, with her previous works, and my favorite so far is this one. Other two books, they are also good, but in this one I want to color everything from first until the last pictures. But unfortunately this one is totally unsuitable for doing something in January, it doesn't have simple winter pictures. Everything here is festive with trees, presents, uh, Santa, so we need to start doing something in it before Christmas. And that's why I selected this one. A winter wonderland with simple winter landscapes I can color in February and January. Of course, I also think about my mythographic books. You know that I love them, usually I color them without problems, just for relax. So if I have more free time, then I will grab my stash of mythographic book, maybe Wanderlust, maybe uh, f already Frozen, uh, maybe Voyage, which I still need to start coloring in, so they will be also close to my working table. That's all about my adventurous plans. I hope that in the end of November something from this list of to-do pictures will move to the list of finished pictures. Thank you and please wish me luck to fulfill my plans.